we go. Portraits ain't no shit. I see some artists tackle it head on with no under sketch. Pretty impressive. Not my jam. I'm not that artist. I probably spend as much time getting my sketch right before I even put a drop of paint down on the canvas. So for this one, the only color I'm going for is gonna be the red lips. Now I think that the photo that I chose might be a little bit overexposed. I probably should have hunted for a better version, but we're gonna make this one work. Now I've always been a fan of old Hollywood back when it was like some kind of theme park you buy tickets to. As a film buff, some of my favorite stories come out of that era. And emerging from those golden years was obviously Marilyn Monroe and to me seems to embody the entire ancient time and place of that Hollywood era. Makes me wonder if she had any idea that her image and legacy would live on this long after she was gone. Also makes me wonder how much longer we're going to remember her. It's kind of crazy to think about. Old Hollywood movies aren't as appreciated as they should be in 2022. But then again, you know, we don't appreciate much in 2022 anyways. Sadly, Monroe's movies wasn't even in any of my top 10 of my favorite movies from that era. I didn't particularly love her movies. She was kind of typecast as like a dumb blonde. From what I understand, she spent most of her career clawing to dig herself out of that stereotype. Personally, I'm a bogey fan. He was more my speed. He was unpolished, rough, with more lines on his face and a road map. But he was suave, cunning, and charismatic. Monroe did not lack in charisma either. And I can confidently say that she is well known and way more popular today than Bogey. Or anyone else of that era, save Elvis. And she most definitely had her moments. Have you got the nerve to stand there and expect me to believe that you don't want to marry my son for his money? It's true. Then what do you want to marry him for? I want to marry him for your money. Fair. <laughs> oh. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> When it comes to people of Maryland's caliber, it makes you wonder what it's like in an alternative universe where icons like her didn't succumb to an untimely death. I mean, how many more iconic moments did she have left to give? How many more great records would Jimi Hendrix or Janis Joplin make? Or Kurt Cobain? Or would they even be as relevant if their lights weren't snuffed out so early on? I guess that just boils down to the age-old question of is it better to burn out or fade away? Thanks for watching you guys. I'm gonna leave you with a Marilyn Monroe quote. Fear is stupid. So are regrets. See you guys next time.